Two of the most powerful characters in Invincible are going at it. So who wins, Battle Beast or Alan the Alien? Let's get into it. What's up guys, this is Danko. I do fight breakdowns, power ranking videos, or more deep dives into your favorite characters and franchises with new videos every week. So if that seems great to you, well sit back and enjoy the video. Hit that like button if you want to, or hit the subscribe button while you're at it. So first thing I think we need to take a look at is their strength. Which one is stronger? Well, Battle Beast is really no joke in the strength department. The dude has been traveling the universe for years looking for a good fight, or someone who can compare to him. He hasn't found one. He's even been able to effortlessly plow through Ragnars or even Viltrumites. The guy's never really met his match or his equal until he fought against Thrag. And let me get this straight, Battle Beast is, for all intents and purposes, Thrag complete equal. The two guys fought against each other for four days straight, in a fight that completely annihilated the planet they were fighting on. And even though Thrag won that fight, I really don't think it's because Thrag is just any more powerful than Battle Beast. It's more Thrag just got lucky, or was the one fortunate enough to survive. You can't tell me that the winner of a four day fight is really the one more powerful and not just the one more lucky, especially since Thrag nearly died from his injuries too and would have if his followers didn't save him. Basically, you should be able to scale Battle Beast directly to Thrag. And Thrag has dominated against Thaddeus, Omni-Man, and Invincible before like dominated and those three guys are important because we can use the feat where they destroy the planet viltrum a planet considerably bigger denser with much stronger gravity than the earth they destroyed that planet meaning they were strong enough meaning they were strong enough to combine to destroy the planet and all of them were tough enough to survive the destruction of the planet so while you can't scale them all up to planet level individually, you can scale them to at least moon level, especially since we've legit seen Invincible moving moons around before and pushing them out of orbit. And considering just how much Thrag has dominated against them in their fights, I would argue that at this point in the series, he is as powerful as all three of them combined, well, I think it's fair to say that Thrag is probably planet level himself. And since Battle Beast and Thrag can pretty much directly compare to each other, you can say that Battle Beast is planet level too. Told you, the guy is strong. Now, as for Alan the Alien, well, one of the most unique things about Alan is that even though he's just innately superhumanly powerful, Every time that he's killed, he comes back much more powerful than before. Like, a lot more powerful. Like, to the point where he's basically a different character. Originally, Alan was able to fight against Omni-Man and could fight against Invincible. But that was before Invincible really got serious and started working out. However, he could get absolutely bodied by different Viltrumites but then he's able to get a whole lot stronger than before in the process. To the point where Thaddeus said that Alan was just as powerful as a Viltrumite. It's possible that he might be even stronger. And you know what? Alan really lives up to this too. He's been able to push a ship out of a star's gravity well. And then he was able to hold back in his fight against Dinosaurus. He was like one of Invincible's greatest villains. Then there's his fights against actual Viltrumites. He can literally punch their heads off or kill them with just one hit. He can absolutely rock Anissa, who's one of the strongest Viltrumites out there. Whenever Alan has encountered some of Thrag's kids who can destroy whole city blocks, well, he's legit exploded them with each punch he throws. Alan is ridiculously strong, and he definitely proved it by fighting against Omni-Man. 
At the height of both their powers, Omni Man and Alan fought, and for a while, it looked like Nolan had the advantage. But in actuality, Alan was just letting Omni Man hit him, and he was really holding back, because he didn't want to fight his friend. But then Alan got tired of doing nothing and absolutely destroyed Omni Man, beating him senseless with just a few hits. So then, what about durability? Well, Battle Beast is tough enough to survive attacks from Thrag and did it for four days straight. Remember, Thrag was legit killing Viltrumites like Thaddeus and Omni Man, two guys who are tough enough to survive planetary destruction. Thrag's punches do more damage than a planet blowing up, and Battle Beast took those punches for days on end. And he started out the fight by injuring himself with his own blade to kind of even the fight. So Battle Beast did all that while he was already injured. He's got some crazy durability. But so does Alan. Even before Alan started to evolve each time he was killed when he was still in his base form, well, he was able to fight against Invincible and hold his own taking all sorts of punches and hits in the process. And even though three Viltrumites were able to absolutely body him in this weaker form, he still did technically survive the attack and was able to heal from it. And when he did heal, man, he came back much tougher than ever before. He could take punches from Anissa, was basically able to fake being knocked out. Her punches weren't really doing any damage. That's kind of how it went for the rest of the series. All sorts of Viltrumites were able to wail on him, just like they did before. Except this time, well, it did nothing to Alan. He took it all. Even scaling back off Omni Man, well, Alan took all sorts of punches and hits from Omni Man, and he basically acted like he didn't even feel it took hits from one of the strongest guys in Invincible and just brushed it off. Absolutely crazy. Basically, I hope all of this proves that this is going to be one hard fought fight. Either one can definitely win and even outside of their near equal strength and durability, both of them have their advantages. Like for Alan the Alien, well, it's his mobility. He can fly and that's a distinct advantage over Battle Beast, who's firmly planted on the ground. But for Battle Beast, well, his biggest advantage is just his experience, his skill, and his bloodthirstiness. He loves a good fight. He lives for a good fight. Alan kind of avoids a fight until he can't avoid it anymore. But really, I think this all comes down to Battle Beast fight with Thrag. Because after his power boost, Alan was a lot more powerful than most Viltrumites. He could even be more powerful than higher tier Viltrumites. But I don't think he was more powerful than Thrag. Like you could argue that if Invincible hadn't fought Thrag in the surface of the sun, and if Robot hadn't come in and helped him out, well Thrag would have slaughtered Omni-Man, probably Invincible, and every other Viltrumite he came across. Mostly because he had done that throughout the whole series up until that point. Basically, the argument is that Thrag one-on-one -on -one against anyone, even playing field, well, he absolutely smokes them. And Battle Beast fought against him evenly for four days straight. That's like one of the best feats in Invincible. And for as powerful as Alan the Alien is, I don't think he's replicating that. There are still limits to his power, and we know that because when Alan tried to fight against an older Mark, who was probably about Thrag's level at this point, well, he got absolutely bodied. Alan the Alien is powerful, and I think he would put up a great fight against Battle Beast, but I don't think he's actually going to beat Battle Beast here. No, Battle Beast is still just something else altogether. Battle Beast wins.
But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're gonna have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you wanna go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're gonna see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.